Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you a card that I created using the adorable stamp set from Altenu called Dearest Friend. I've had this stamp set in my stash for the longest time and I just have not used it. So um, being that Valentine's is coming and you know friendship day or love day whatever you want to call it. Um, I decided to go ahead and pull it out and use it um, also because you know these stamps that you could use it for many different things not necessarily for um, this you know just like miss you friend thinking of you um, and then the florals you could use it for any other um, theme Mother's Day or you know any spring theme that you are doing but anyway um, I am coloring this onto I stamped it onto Bristol smooth paper and I am using my zig markers to color it um, I love using these markers and I kind of, you know, have, had forgotten how easy it is to blend them onto the Bristol um, paper. You don't really need to use water because you could actually use water um, to watercolor with these markers. But you could use two different shades to blend them onto the paper. And the Bristol paper I've found that is, you know, the best one to do that because it doesn't really um, soak into the papers if that makes any sense but um but anyway i am also taking advantage of the the new coloring challenge the 30-day coloring challenge by kathy rakusin it started yesterday which was on the first and um it is you know 30 days that she encouraged you to you know pick up a little bit of time for you to sit down and color something take the time for yourself to relax and you know sometimes if you're working or whatnot um it is good to be a, a nice day to wind down or a good day to start depending on what you're doing so um, since I am making my Valentine's theme cards I decided to kind of kill two birds with one stone so do the coloring use it for my coloring challenge and also make my video for my Valentine series so anyway just trying to do a whole bunch of different things right and um, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I just uh, you know absolutely love coloring and making things and um you know coloring this card sometimes i know that a lot of us um you know kind of have that problem i am kind of new to stamping and uh and i kind of get overwhelmed because there is so many um different companies so many different uh, techniques so many different things to do that sometimes i just kind of want to i want to do it all or i want to try it all but you know it's just too much and um i, th I feel a little bit overwhelmed and wanting to do you know or thinking if I get a stamp set right now, like, you know, they come out with releases every so often. Um, a lot of these companies do it every month. So it is a little bit hard to keep up, especially when you don't have a lot of um, extra, you know, cash to be spending on buying new stamps. So I am a very strong believer that, um, yeah, while these a lot of these stamps are really neat and, you know, really cool to have, um, you don't have to have every single one. You don't have to go in, you know, or think that you have to get every single stamp or just use the ones that are um, newer or the current ones to be, um, to, you know, get into the love of stamping. But you can go ahead and grab a stamp that's, you know, old and, you know, still use it because, um, you know, florals especially are something that are not going to go out of style because, you know, that you could use them all year round and forever and ever. Um and anyways, and that could be the case for any different stamp, you know, you can think of different ways to use them rather than, you know, just kind of use them, make a couple cards and then you never touch them again. So to me, that would be a waste of money and, uh, you know, not kind of productive, I guess. So I guess I'm just kind of rambling on, on what I think, I guess. Uh, but, you know, yes, do I see all of these cute stamps and everything that comes out and do I want to have them all? Of course. But do I need them? Not really. Um, so what I decided to do, you know, I'm trying to kind of refrain and not buy a lot of uh, new stamps or new supplies unless I, you know, need them if I'm making something specific. But um, I am going to be using the stamps that I have because I do have tons of them. Um, I know that it's going to sound a little bit kind of like, you know, I don't know, like double, double standard because um, I am going to be posting a video soon at, um I had been waiting for my Simon Says Stamp Card Kit of the Month um, and it finally arrived. And um, I also kind of splurged on t on getting the, um, you know, the 
the limited edition um, kit that they made for the month of February. Um, I thought it was really, really adorable uh, with the images and everything. And I decided to go ahead and get that one too. Only reason why I got it is because for Christmas, my husband gave me a gift card to Simon Says Stamp. Um, he knows how much I love purchasing things there. And um, so he went ahead and got it for me. It was a little bit of a tough decision to, you know, kind of try to spend the money wisely. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe I'll just wait till they have one of those sales that, you know, one of those sales that I always miss, but tried to get some stamps from them. But then I wasn't going to be getting, um, you know, something newer to show or something that I kind of really liked. And when I saw the reveal of this car kit, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I did purchase it. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it because I will do a video uh, once that one comes in and show you what I got. But um, but again, that's the only reason why I have that card is because um, or, you know, I purchase new new stamps because of that. But uh, moving on, let's just finish. So as you can see, I've just been doing all the coloring here. Um, I did speed it up because, again, um, you know, it's just doing basic coloring. I am not an expert and I am really trying to kind of learn or do a little bit uh, more. And as far as my blending, I just go with whatever I think is going to look good. So I don't have to worry about, you know, does it look real? Does it look uh, very realistic? And, you know, is the shadowing on the right place? I just kind of go with what I think will look um, good. So here I just picked two different shades of blue to, um, you know, to do those little flowers. And I color them with the lightest blue. And I'm just going with the darker blue to just add a little bit of detail. Um, like on the flowers that don't have anything in there, I just kind of, you know, started from the center and did kind of uh, like a star. And just kind of color it all in. Now, um, I had different plans or, you know, at first when I started when I stamped my image because I wanted to make it into like one of those window cards that you would do with acetate which I haven't done one of those but um, I'll make one of those next time um, as I was coloring it I was thinking that it would be really cute to kind of cut a frame and I am using this oval stitch die um, to cut it so now what I wanted to do is cut the whole thing but because I didn't have the you know the die is um, smaller than the whole image um, I thought that it would be really neat to kind of cut it out and make like some of those um sprigs of uh the floral come out like you know like they're coming out i don't know if it's making sense but um what i did here i just kind of traced around it so you know with the with the pencil and i did it a little bit darker than i normally would because i wanted you to see it on camera but i'm just kind of fuzzy cutting around the image and the floral to um you know for the pieces that actually would not fit or you know that normally if you were to cut it would be cut off um off the off the shape so i'm just cutting those um and trimming them so that way i can pop them out um off the die and i'll show you in a second like it'll probably make, make sense once you see it but i was doing that and i was thinking you know at the same time as i was cutting this if i was going to be using some foam tape to pop it up or how i was going to be putting it on my card but um you know, I end up not doing any of that. I'll show you uh, at the end. I think it still came out really, really pretty. Um, and again, like I said, my flowers, I know I, I didn't like that purple one too much, but I think it still came out really cute. Um, I wasn't really going for a realistic look, so I hope that that makes sense. So here, what I'm doing on those florals or those sprigs that I kind of fussy cut around and trimmed, um, I am nesting or putting my dye through them so that way those are not going to be cutting and everything else around will cut um i yeah you can see that i'm not done fuzzy cutting on the other one i was just trying to cut the shape out so i can uh, run it to my die cutting machine and i am using my spellbinders platinum i love 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 that machine um i used to have the grand caliber it was like an older machine and um, i had purchased that one like at a yard sale <laughs> so um it was really nice but i you know, I wanted to use some of those steel rule dies, and when I was trying to look for a new die cutting machine, um, I kind of did a little bit of research. At the time, it was newer, so I went ahead and purchased that one because it was a bigger one, so that way when you have bigger dies, you kind of could use that as well. Now, when I put this on, um, I kind of didn't notice that my um, oval was at the very edge of the card, so I 
you know, I didn't push it up for, far enough. So I am just going back and trimming around the little edges or the little pieces of, of the floral that are going to be coming out to kind of make it look like, you know, that's how it meant to, to go. This was my first go. I know it doesn't look perfect, but, uh, you know, it. I kind of got the idea and you kind of see how, how it all worked out so that way you can try it and see how it's going to work for when you make a different card. So here is what I said that I kind of like went off a little bit of the frame. So I decided to use my scissors to trim it a little bit to, you know, make it look more even so it doesn't look like a flat um, square area at the bottom. So I'm just going to finish fussy cutting everything out and then finish all that. Now, another thing I wanted to say or mention is that I am going to be posting a video with a giveaway challenge um, I have been seeing that you know some people do those and they look like a lot of fun and I think it's a good way to um, see what other people are making so I am going to be posting that so if you'd like to join um, you know invite your friends and I'll post that video hopefully later today but anyway I'm just erasing those pencil marks and here is the stamp set that I use again it's called dearest friend and it has these really really cool sentiments um, in there too and I think originally the reason why i got it was mostly for the sentiments um i know alton new has tons of like super beautiful florals um not saying that this one's not beautiful i do like it but um it's a little bit more on the um cartoonish side i guess i don't know um but some of the florals that they've that they've come up with it just looks so real um mostly i guess some of them they do have layering stamps so that kind of helps but anyway so i'm going to use my versifying um stamp pad and this is actually a new one because uh, my other black ink ink pad that I have is a memento tuxedo black and I was running out um, I need to get a reinker for that one but this one I just love how nice and crispy stamped but also because I wanted to heat emboss so I stamped it onto a piece of vellum uh, paper and this is kind of like a shimmery vellum and I'm just going to be some putting some clear um, embossing powder to emboss to heat emboss it and um, to just give it a little bit of dimension you could have left it like that but i like the look that the heat embossing gives with the vellum it just kind of um makes it like a little bit muted so it doesn't look as dark um you know when you put just the black ink it kind of mutes it a little i think you could um also do like second generation stamping if you don't want it to be as dark but in this case i was trying to go for a more softer look and there you have it. It says Happy Friendship Day. And I thought it would be perfect also for Valentine's, you know, to send to a friend. I'm going to be trimming this. And I am going to be using my Tim Holtz trimmer. Actually, I've had this trimmer for a little while. And I, I purchased it before, right before they changed to the red one. And, um, you know, I love it. But I don't pull it out as much because I'm trying to get, you know, get used to it. Um, I'm used to my other trimmer that you just line everything and it does have a measurement onto the right So if you're measuring something that's only going to be half an inch, it's perfect But on this one, I don't have a guide so I have to kind of get used to it um, You know to, to trim little little things. It is very sharp and very good, but I have to get you know the hang of it So I am going to be putting it together now and what I'm using again my Simon Says glue um, You know my good friend here and I'm just trying to see how I am going to stamp it. I also cut out a trim of or trimmed out a piece of paper using the stitch um, rectangle die. And it fit perfectly. And I apologize that I was off frame here. I did not realize it until I'm doing the voiceover. So um, I apologize for that. But what I did is basically grab that um, strip of vellum and kind of belly band it or wrap it around the card. And I'm using some score tape to um, secure it onto place. So I always like to do that and put it um, on the bottom because sometimes, you know, I haven't really found a glue that doesn't see um, show through when you are, you know, gluing vellum. So I always try to glue it onto the back so that way, um, you know, you don't see anything on the front and it looks nice. Now I have that towards the bottom and I am just going to be gluing the whole thing onto a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half, you know, your standard size and I'm using my ATG gun to do so. Um, I absolutely love this thing but I sometimes don't grab it because it's so big and takes up so much space on my table that, uh, you know, I kind of tend to pull it away. But 
I am ready to go and I am just eyeballing it so I can center it um, onto the card and I think that it looks very nice um, you know clean and simple um, with the white on white I think it just came out really really cute um, so then I here I decided to put a little little tiny dab of glue onto the one of the the letters on friendship that wasn't going to be sipping out and to kind of center it or you know anchor it onto the card and then I am pulling out some of these Simon Says Moonshine confetti um, I absolutely love this confetti it's just so pretty and it's got all this color that um, you know I don't use it enough but I you know ought to start using more I'm only using my multi um, multi-medium matte adhesive um, or glue this is from Ranger and it is a very strong glue that is going to make sure that the sequence will stay there. So if you are gluing sequins onto cards, this is a really good glue to use because um, even if you, when you put it through the mail, you usually doesn't come out and if it oozes out, it dries out clear. So I was just trying to use, um, you know, put a little bit on my mat so I don't make a mess on my card, but there you have it. Um, I think my card came out very, very pretty. Start to put everything away and um like i said i really enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed it and are enjoying this valentine series if there's something specific that you guys want to um you know want me to do or work on go ahead and leave me a comment below i would love to hear from you and um you know work on that as well so now to finish off my car on the inside i grabbed one of the sentiments that um you know is included in the stamp set and like i said it has tons of really um, cute friendship sentiments and I am going to be I'm trying to figure out how to put it um, so I can line it up and then um, stamp on the edge because I wanted to use some of those florals to put it inside to just kind of decorate it a little bit and I'm putting my sentiment in the center and then I decided that I wanted to do the flowers or the florals onto the bottom and at the top so a little trick I do here and I think I've shown you before is I just grab a scrap of paper that you know that's got this a straight edge i line it up onto my um onto the edge of my stamping platform and then just um uh, align line up my card onto that so that way you can stamp off the edge i know you can use it if you flip it upside down but sometimes because i am um, right-handed it is a lot easier for me if i open it left i don't know if that makes sense and to have everything clear on my right side and I'm going to be using this um, Stampin' Up! ink pad that I have. Um, it is like a purple lavender color and going to be stamping those florals right there. And already you can see it looks so pretty. But um, I wanted to give it a little bit extra and put another stamp onto the top right corner. So I'm going to be using that same scrap piece of paper and putting it on the top so that way I can cover my card because I don't want to mess it up now at this point. You know, I'm very invested and I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just trying to line up this stamp here and putting it together. Again, stamping it with the um, that same Stamping Up ink pad. And I love this sentiment. It says, uh, true friends are never apart, maybe in distance, but never at heart. So, um, you know, I thought it would be perfect uh, stamp to send to one of my friends. We recently moved, so I actually don't really have um, a lot of friends here. We do have some family friends that um, you know my husband knew from a while and they're very super sweet people but any of my all my other friends you know they're back um, to where we, you know, in Las Vegas where we moved from so I do miss everybody and I thought that it would be a cool one to send to one of them so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one